Uh, this year, uh, the Hopkins Water Department is trying to take a proactive stance in working with all of our local establishments, uh, including Western Nurseries, uh, Angels Garden, and Evergreen Garden. And in the past, uh, we're unfortunately mandated by the state to put on water use restrictions every year. And in the past, I think people might have been reluctant in order to buy new plantings if we have uh, those bans in place because they're afraid they can't water them. But we're trying to be out there uh, and help promote with these garden centers the, the proper use of how you can still buy your plantings, how you can water them properly, and actually help save water in the process. So I've met with all of the owners and they've all agreed to help out. And if anyone has uh, anything that they need to discuss or have questions, uh, along with our local garden club as well, they'd be happy to, and more than happy to discuss with you what the different options are that are available out there to help the public in order to do their plantings and in order to do them more efficiently. So this year we're trying to you know, be on the good side of things and help promote the, uh, the efficient use everywhere. In the past it's kind of been, there's been water bans and people think uh, we can't do that because of it. So we're, we're making a partnership out there and, and trying to be proactive and uh, we really appreciate the help of all the uh, garden centers and nurseries that we have here in town. Well these rain barrels are made in Hyde Park by the uh, Hyde Park Boston by the Great American Rain Barrel Company and they come in different colors. We have grays, browns, and greens here. Uh, they're recycled olive jars, uh, olive oil jars, I believe. So it's a good recycled product made from a local company. They um, basically, you have this contraption here that attaches to the downspout of the gutter, and you can just have the water go right out the usual downspout, or you can open this up so that diverts the water into the rain barrel. That's how it works. And then there's spigots top and bottom. So you can um, fill up a watering can, I think halfway up rather, fill up a watering can. And on the bottom, so the pressure goes right out your hose and you can water through a hose. They work great. <laughs> yeah, I, we, we just wanted to you know, thank Peter and Western Nurseries uh, for partnering with us this year. Well, we've always done a rain barrel program in the past and we thought it would be nice to do it locally and in-house with businesses now that we found out that uh, they carry them down here. Uh, so I think it'll be a great thing for the residents. It you know, helps conserve water, um, which is always important to do. And having it local with uh, local businesses and local people, I think, is just a win-win for the, you know, the town and, and the businesses. So we really appreciate you yeah, helping us out. appreciate you working with us, too. It's a great thing for the town to work with the local businesses. Yeah. So thank you, Eric. And thank you. And the, uh, the residents will be able to get a, a discount? They are, yes. The residents will get 15% uh, off if they bring in proof of residency, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> which is great, great for them. It helps them out save as well. And yeah. uh, so it really is a, just a win-win for everybody. So we, we yeah. appreciate yeah. it. Okay, thanks again, Eric.